What's good as your boy D Money? We back in the stand. You are right, no. Nope. Oh no, man, another day, another reaction. Dollar Boys, it's looking like uh, No Jumper, aka in this situation, Adam and Wack is about to get the case of the verbal beats because these niggas over here gossiping about act. So I can tell they trying to get a response from act. But I ain't gonna lie, you gonna get a violent, fat, sloppy response, bro. He gonna be pissed. You gonna see videos of Lena Gurkin that nigga Jason Love and getting fucked by Lil D. You gonna see prostates and three fingers getting shoved in somebody's shit. I'm telling you, bro, it's gonna be fucking ugly. But I can't even blame him because I'll be talking for this for a long time too. Act got five hundred thousand dollars stolen from this bitch. He over here flying to the bitch so he can go get his dick sucking shit. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. That bitch will be on dick probation. Bitch, you sucking dick for a whole month. And bitch, that's what you gonna have to go through. If you wanna fuck with me after doing $500,000, $500, bitch, you sucking dick for a month. No dick. Bust in the mouth type shit. Yes, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. Smash that like button. Y'all know what time it is, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not mad at him because... That nigga act was doing a play-by-play -play of Lena getting <laughs> piped out. Nigga, I lied to you not, bro. He did a play-by-play. -play. He was like, oh, oh, we nutted. <laughs> I'm dead ass, bro. She swallowed it. Dead ass, bro. I'm not lying, bro. Smash that like button. Y'all know what time it is, man. Let's get it. Yeah, because you, that's what I the aspect of doing podcasts I'll with issue the pre-apology. It's a weird thing doing podcast with Wack because we recorded that podcast, I guess, probably on like a, oh, actually, I think it was a Friday and we Friday, got it out Friday, by, yeah, by Wednesday. Wednesday. So we had like a nice uh, little five day period before it came out and you went on Clubhouse and you basically told everybody what I said in the voicemail that we played. No, I didn't. Well, I didn't I watch it, but I saw the YouTube title that said, Wack 100 says, and then it's the exact <laughs> quote. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, they I did not say a lot it. from that, okay. I did not say it. Wack is a I liar, just bro. made people yeah. anticipate what might have been said. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, bro? That's like when I'm talking to my girl, and I'm like, yo, why did you say that? She said, nah, I said next to what you said, bro. I didn't say what you just said. What, bitch? You was tripping. Act, whack, you gotta stop with this shit, bro. Just keep it a beam, bro. You be lying sometimes. And you just be dead ass doing what the fuck you wanna do. We ain't mad about it, but just keep it a beam with us, bro. Yeah, nigga, I said it, cause so what, bitch? If you don't want me to say that shit, don't tell me. Whack one of them niggas, if you don't want him to say it, just don't tell him. Sometimes I'm like that, too. I had to tell that bitch-ass nigga just went digital that shit. Nigga, if it's that big a deal and you don't want me to say it, don't tell me, nigga, because I'm going to say it, bro. I always been in one of them niggas. Oh, I ain't know you was fucking that bitch over there. Oh, I didn't know that nigga was... Uh, what, bro? We just be talking. I'm retarded, bro. You, you got to tell me something, bro. See my pre-apology? Yeah, I, I said a bunch too, of shit yeah. without saying nothing. I blamed you without saying your name. That was funny. Right? Um, what's funny is Act is over there. <laughs> it's kind of quiet. <laughs> It's been shit. about 24 hours since that episode came out, and we haven't got a reaction yet, but you, you realize where he is right now, right? Oh, Shy not to be too gossipy or anything, but it would uh, appear based on an Instagram live. So they're back together. Who? <laughs> Ak and Shay Glizzy. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Oh, uh, come on, bro. God, I know somebody like him. I believe she has an apartment in Texas. And she went on Instagram Live, and you got to see him, like, sitting on the couch in her apartment and stuff, which was kind of mind-blowing because it's like, so y'all went through all that, and you didn't even just, like, fly her out. You flew there Hell yeah. to go kick it. To patch Not just kick it. You could tell that nigga act was comfortable. If y'all seen the video, I think I posted a video on my shorts. This nigga was laid out on her bed. He had the belly out. His belt. Listen, y'all. The be his belly was seeping out the bottom of his shirt. She was on live. She flipped the camera and showed him. She knows she did wrong. Bitch, why you showing my underbelly like that? She did that shit. Act was one of the <laughs> Act looked like a mad baby mom after that, bro. He walked towards her all mad. He ain't say nothing to grab the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, don't be mad at us, bro, because you can't walk away from that bitch, bro. 
Let me tell you something, bro. Every bitch suck dick, bro. Like, it's okay, bro. Just because she be sucking your goddamn uh, foreskin off your shit, bro, don't mean that you gotta, like, act like that, bro. Like, you gotta, like, you need the bitch. Like, bro, there's a million bitches that do the same thing, bro. Straight suction cup. Straight washing machine. <laughs> she fucking your joint up, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You don't gotta do what you're doing. You think, <coughs> you think he's... Whatever Krishan got between her legs, Shay Glizzy must have that times... 10. She sucked dick every because day, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Hopping on a flight to go yeah. chill with her after she did all that yeah. fuck shit. Yeah. Sending your dick pics to Bro, y'all y'all girls be like, "Why he cheat all day?" Bitch, you don't suck dick every day. That's why, bitch, when you're not sucking dick, I got to fuck. <laughs> like it's not that sorry. Sorry. Bitch, like, bro, y'all don't understand. You like, "Oh, what is Krishan got?" Ooh, what does Shay Glizzy got? Bro, them bitches suck dick every day. I promise you, bro. Them bitches suck dick every day and make sure you like, damn, maybe she ain't that bad, bro. The only way that nigga Blueface was fucking with that bitch with a henny after she just fuck out. See the home run with that nigga upside the head with a henny bottle, bro. The only way that he's still with that bitch is that you nut in that bitch mouth every day, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'd probably do the same thing. If my bitch getting taken care of me every day, bro, and I don't gotta worry about shit, I'm like, shit, maybe she ain't that bad, bro. I'll take a few bottle hittings for this shit. Keep it a bean, bro. Y'all know y'all all had them little thotty ass bitches that's like retarded, and she just gonna like, just do like, like you'd be like, yo, suck my dick upside down, and she gonna get upside down and do that shit. Like, what, bro? Yes, yes. Bro, I have that's whack in the 22 on, stir. So, this is what I'm saying. See, when I see shit like that, it leads to speculation. Do you think Axe scared to leave her because he's comfortable with her being comfortable nah. with him being uncomfortable? Nah. If you I know what lie. I mean? I mean, my <coughs> honest, actual opinion is that I think that she must have something on him. She, she said everything. Although, even that, right. I feel like for him at a certain point, it's like, no matter what you got on me, I'm so sick of dealing with this shit that... Just go ahead. Hell no. Go ahead and expose me. Especially if it's some compromising shit. Yeah, I, don't I mean, I don't, know, I don't know how bad what it could the, be. Because, yo, he been quiet. It's got to be a ratio. It's I gotta had be, no idea. It, it's got to be a ratio between blackmail and love. Because I wouldn't be surprised if bit. he's like 30%. He's 30% in love with her and he's 70% being blackmailed. It's a little sucker in there, though. It's a, is he stizzy back? You fucking bullshit me. I mean, I just seen him in her spot on Instagram Live. I don't know Belly if he's out. actually back with her, but I did notice too that like before he went there and was on Instagram Live in her apartment, that she posted up like a. I could probably find it on my phone, but she posted up on her Instagram basically saying like, "I never said that act raped that girl." La la la. Like, kind of cleaning up a bunch of the stuff that she had said during their prior argument. He gave her ten thousand dollars. So why. I'm assuming he kind of like made her do that. Like, hey, if I'm gonna keep dating you, you gotta like kind of clean up some of the horrible shit you said about me. Hell yeah, he said, yo, listen, babe, shy, listen, I got ten thousand dollars on the table if you just go on Instagram story right now and tell him I ain't do that shit. Dead ass, yo. And you know what's funny? You know, you don't want to know my personal thoughts. I find it real funny. That Boom's allegation came out right about now. Y'all want to know my honest theory to keep it a bean with y'all? I think that nigga act through that nigga little Boom under the bus to keep it a bean. He got all this bullshit going on. He know this shit. Oh, nobody's going to want to work with that nigga because he got sexual allegations, bro. I think he might have threw that little, that nigga little Boom under the fucking bus and said, man, it's better that he take the hit than me. I'm the star. He's one of them niggas, y'all. I just want y'all to think about that and start thinking about that in your brain. Like, damn, that shit. That shit would sound. It sounds crazy, but it's like, damn, that shit kind of line up a little bit. Because y'all see, Shy Glizzy said, yeah, he's using this story to cover up this story. So why wouldn't you use the biggest story possible to cover up the story that you got? To say, oh, you be hanging with people that's rapists. No, nigga, it's you. No, nigga, it's you. You set this shit up. Come on, man. Hey, man, listen, Keep man. To each his own. It's a <coughs> sucker born every day. I never seen. Yeah, I don't realize it's that's your birthday. I never seen act, act like in love. 
at all. I've actually never really seen him like express feelings towards any girl ever, besides Have like you... a little bit to Selena Powell. But he's always denied that that was anything real and at all. Angelica. But it always felt like they he had a little a bit of something. That was a lie. That was a joke. No. No, I remember that. He brought her a G wagon. No. He took it back. He has it. I don't think so. I'm Tr telling you. Trust me. If Wax that was true, lying, that would bro. be so was... fucking funny. We could talk about it all the time. But I, I'm concerned with the truth, and I don't. There's, Yo, there's man, no I'm, you just fucked me up that you're telling me act is back with this chick. He literally that just feeling, switched up because he thought he stole the five hundred thousand. Yes, but she also she said that the whole story about the five hundred thousand before they got back together. I think she said that that whole story was a lie to take attention off of the girl who made the sexual abuse allegation. So that grows before her. If that's true, that's. Adam, you're a lying, stinking ass, colonizing bitch. I don't like you. You talk about the truth all day. Truth this, the truth that. Nigga, I know, I know what I read. I know what I watched. I know what I seen. He, she did not say that he used uh, that as the shit to cover up the allegation, nigga. He said he was trying to use the pregnancy as the as the cover up. Don't get it fucked up. You're a funny weird ass nigga and I don't like you, bro. You exactly like your people. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. Adam, y'all could probably point out, bro, y'all probably y'all boss at work probably just like Adam. Just don't get as much money. That's all. Crazy. Like, that's some crazy evil genius shit. Oh, I want everybody to take their attention off of this assault allegation, so I'm going to say that you stole half a million from me. Nah, if that, wasn't that it. actually happened, that wasn't it. that's nuts. Nah, that well, really happened. That's some real strategy. The assault should have wow, been where it was addressed. Bro. You was a lying yeah, ass That's true. Dude. But remember, so, all the clickbait and all the headlines dick. that came out the day after all that bullshit was, I got half a million stolen from him. It wasn't Axe. X says that he did this, this, and that. It was just the half a million story. Man, you bullshit me. He really went back to that girl. But that feeling that you're having right now of being like, so oh my God, I can't believe he's I back with her. I can't believe this shit. I've had that feeling like four or five times over the course of the past few months of like, oh, I thought for sure they had to be done after this thing. Hell no. Now they can never get back together. Oh, no, they're back together. It's hard to imagine what she might really have to do. I'm texting him. <laughs> I need to get up with Shai Adam Lizzie. says y'all are back together. <laughs> um, yeah, you I don't really know. went back to your ex. Tell me you didn't do that. And it went through blue, so he's getting it. This is crazy. Yo. Hey, look, brother. You, know, you got to remember, a lot of people that got um, some type of stardom or fame, some of these people, like when it comes to women, you know, um, if you can't look up and see, like in high school, they had some shit going for themselves. College, they got some shit going for themselves, and they just kind of finally got some things going when they started getting a little attention in the in the industry. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Getting a little money. Then I understand why you know people are scared to like let go. The thing is, is that Ak has had money for like seven, eight years. 20, like he was. 2012? He had a show on Complex, like eight. <laughs> like what? What was that, 2017? That was Girl, a long that, fucking time nah, ago. That nigga been okay, question is, what women do, can we identify him with? In terms of like public relationships, I mean, there was the Selena thing. There's this girl. A, come on, man, you can't. And then, I mean, I know of him kicking it with a lot of hoes over the years. Just like randoms. But I, 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 I don't know of like a time that I... That's knew him to be in like a real oh no no the angelica girl mm -hmm. there was another girl named angelica too didn't really end so well but i, I what happened what did she say she fucked some soundcloud rapper little tracy yeah bro and then things got kind of weird and complicated after that i remember little tracy dick tracy see little tracy <laughs> is a soundcloud rapper dick tracy is a fictional detective from the 50s <laughs> <laughs> that oh, my dad was into, so that's kind of. Everybody, I hope keeps, you and my dad meet at some everybody point. Everybody keeps fucking axe broads. Well, this was like a long time ago, but let me tell y'all why. Y'all that's watching right now, nigga, me, y'all, me that's watching that shit, we can all fuck the bitch. Any bitch that act fuck, we can fuck them too. You know why? 
Because they just like us. He don't got no bitch that's like Kalani, Ruby Rose, Ari Fletcher, sexy ass with that fat ass butt. No, no, no. He's not going to fuck with them bitches. You know why? Because them bitches got the bag. They going to get annoyed with that drunk ass nigga. Yo, nigga, why the fuck you always drunk on that stream, bitch ass nigga? They not going to be fucking with that. He be getting the bitches from the city. And he bitch just, that's just cute and got like 2,000 followers some shit. He getting bagged the bitch. Let me tell you something, act. We can, we all, bro, we all fucked them bitches already. We fucked them bitches in high school, nigga. You got the game fucked up, nigga. You tripping. That's why he ain't, that's why you like, oh, where, what bitches he be fucking with? He don't fuck with no real industry bitches or nothing like that, bro. He already know them bitches don't want him. He's fat. He's fat. They're like, man, we can go fuck with a basketball nigga. You see what I'm saying? Like, bro, you got to get in shape, bro. You got to get your shit on. You got to start learning how to dress and shit like that, bro. You don't even know how to dress, bro. You just be throwing some expensive shit together, bro. It's not going to work. Smash that like button. Y'all know what time it is, man. I done killed team for long enough, bro. This nigga crazy. Smash that like button. Y'all know what time it is, man. Peace.